hi guys welcome back to golang tutorial in this video we are going to see iterating over a map so we are going to use range for uh, for the for loop and it what it will do is it will give us a key and a value pair in each iteration so let's see how we can achieve this it's a very basic example i'm going to use Uh, let's have a variable called employee age. Map. Let's have an employee name. Let's call it the first call. And his age is 31. Let's have Sam. This age is 30. John 29. Sarah 32. 34. Random number. So, um, a for name comma each next to it we have our range here range would be employee age and we are going to print as a name comma age go run me down So it prints and if you see very important thing in this is this is not in the order that I have written. So it printed John, Sarah and even if I run it again, let me run it again. Again, it's in a different order. So every time, usually it changes every because it go run main dot go because it, this, this looks similar to the last one. It changed right so it changes every time because map is an unordered collection and therefore the iteration ordered of a map is not guaranteed to be same every time you iterate over it so that is the best part about uh, maps you know they keep orders keep changing for some reason you know golang thought you know that would be a good idea to have it in a unordered way so that you know you're not keeping it in a runs in an order uh, and uh, and that is it and iterating over a map so if you have any questions do let me know uh, it's, it was a very basic example of uh, iterating over a map thank you for watching my video do like share and subscribe to my channel